Welcome to a lesson on truth conditions for connectives. The truth value of a statement is determined by the truth value or values of its parts or parts depending on the connectives. Let's look at the truth conditions for the following five connectives. P and Q is true when both P and Q are true. P or Q is true when P or Q or both are true. If P then Q is true when P is false or Q is true or both are true. P if and only if Q is true when P and Q are both true or both false. And finally, not P is true when P is false. Notice how we are using the inclusive or for P or Q. And then finally also notice the only way for if P then Q to be false is for P to be true and Q to be false. Because if P then Q is true when P is false or Q is true or both are true. Let's take a look at some examples. Determine whether each molecular statement below is true or false or whether it is impossible to determine. Assume you do not know what my favorite number is, but you do know 13 is prime. So for part A, if 13 is prime, then 13 is my favorite number. Notice how we do have an if then statement, which we can indicate as if P then Q. In this case, 13 is prime is true, which means P is true, but Q, 13 is my favorite number, is unknown. So looking at our notes, if P then Q is true, if P is false, or Q is true, or both are true. Well, notice in this case, P is true, and we don't know whether Q is true or false, and therefore we don't have enough information to determine whether the statement is true or false. Since P is true, if Q is true, the statement would be true. If Q was false, the statement would be false. So again, we don't have enough information to determine whether the statement is true or false. Let's just state not enough information. For part B, if 13 is my favorite number, then 13 is prime. Again, we have another if then statement in the form of if P then Q. In this case, we don't know whether P, meaning 13 is my favorite number, is true or false, but we do know Q, 13 is prime, is true. So we don't know whether P is true, but we do know that Q is true. And when Q is true, if P then Q is true. Next, if 13 is not prime, then 13 is my favorite number. Once again, we have another if then statement or a statement in the form of if P then Q. 13 is not prime is false and therefore P is false. And once again, we don't know whether 13 is my favorite number, which means we don't know whether Q is true or false. And again, looking at our notes, if P then Q is true, if P is false or Q is true or both are true, again, because P is false, C is a true statement. Part D, 13 is my favorite number, or 13 is prime. The statement is in the form of P or Q. Because we don't know whether 13 is my favorite number, we don't know whether P is true or false, 13 is prime is true. So P or Q is true when P or Q or both are true. Because Q is true, D is a true statement. We can also state P or Q using this notation here. For part E, 13 is my favorite number and 13 is prime. The statement fits the form of P and Q, which we can also state using this notation here. P and Q is true and both P and Q are true. Well, we know 13 is prime is true and therefore Q is true. We don't know whether 13 is my favorite number is true or false, and therefore we don't have enough information to determine whether the statement is true. Part F, seven is my favorite number and 13 is not prime. Once again, the statement is in the form of P and Q. Because we don't know whether seven is my favorite number, we don't know whether P is true or false, 
However, we do know that 13 is not prime is false, and therefore Q is false. The only way P and Q is true is when both the only way when the only way P and Q is true is when both P and Q are true, and because we know Q is false, P and Q, meaning seven is my favorite number and thirteen is not prime, is false. And for the last statement, thirteen is my favorite number or thirteen is not my favorite number. The statement is in the form of P or Q. In order to be true, P or Q or both must be true. In this case, we don't know whether 13 is my favorite number or not, but one of the statements must be true, meaning 13 is my favorite number or 13 is not my favorite number. So because P or Q is true, the or statement is true. I hope you found this helpful.